Hi, this is your Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings and they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. For those of you that would like to donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that link is also in the description box below. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. Alright, so for some of you, you may be moving from one place to the other, changing locations, yeah, or you are definitely ending or starting a new relationship with someone where you are moving in with this person and it is going to be a new adventure that you're going to be undertaking. So for some of you, you're moving to a different community or a different environment or a different state. But it is to be with someone that you are in a relationship with. This person wants to actually start living together with you. Or you hope for that to happen. Alright, so let's dive deeper into this and see what this is about. For some of you, you will be traveling soon. Mm. So some of you are connecting to an Aries Leo or Sag. You find this person to be very attractive. But you also find them to be very impulsive. This person burns very brightly, they're very energetic, they're very strong willed. Yeah. Now you may find them to be very attractive, but you do not think that they are relationship material. Ouch. But you still want a new beginning when it comes to passion. You still hope for the relationship to take off and for things to work out. Because you can't see a life without this individual. And you're going to make a decision to actually move to meet them. For some of you, this is a long distance relationship. And you're going to actually take that leap and move towards them wherever they are or they could be moving towards you. It is something new that you are going to undertake. So if you are in a, a long distance relationship, this person is definitely either coming to you or you are going to them or you've been thinking about doing it. But for some reason, it seems to have had a hiccup. This person is trying to avoid actually moving in together with you. And it is causing you some stress and anxiety because you feel like this person doesn't really want to have a relationship with you. You feel like this individual is probably playing games. Could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you're dealing with, but this person is in their emotions. In the sense that they think it's too soon to move in together or to live together or to be in a long-term commitment with you. Now, like I said, for some of you, this is a long-distance relationship and you're willing to move to be with this person. But I don't think this person is ready for that type of commitment yet. But you feel single, you feel independent, you feel like, you know, this can work for me. And for others of you, you're in this energy that if I don't uh, be committed to this person, why am I enduring this pain of a long-term relationship? So some of you are at your wit's end with the relationship, wanting change, wanting this person to either come to you or you to them, and you're tired of being single. 
that is what is what that is what it is coming down to for some of you you feel like this person doesn't want to commit to you and this is causing you to want to cut them out i think you're going to uh, you are about to have a direct conversation with this person where you're going to tell them that you're going to cut them out if they cannot commit to you or be in a relationship with you wow okay yeah you prefer you prefer to find a new relationship than to stay in a long-term relationship and it's not working out for you because you really do love this person but it would seem that the connection is very new and the way you feel it's like you need to be with this individual. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. You could be one. They could be one. But somebody here is procrastinating. They are withholding from you the fact that they are not ready to be in a committed relationship. For some of you, an addiction could be playing a serious part where this person doesn't want you to know that they are addicted to drugs or maybe alcohol or something. And they happen to like the long distance relationship where you can still love them without knowing exactly what is happening with them. But you're in this energy of regretting the time that you spent with this person, the energy you put into this person and the time that you spent loving this person. So you're in this energy of, what do I do from here? Because you don't see anything long term with this individual. You don't see them wanting to commit to you, to be with you, to have a relationship with you. It just isn't working out. Yeah. You don't want to give up on the relationship, but you're feeling like it's hopeless at this point in time. You feel this person could be lying to you or being manipulative to you or they could have a secret life that you know is nothing about. Yeah. They do not have a secret life, if that is what it is you're trying to find out. They do love you. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as someone that they can truly, genuinely have love for. But it could be an Aries Leo or Sag. But this person runs hot and cold very quickly. This person is all about living their best life. Going with the wind. Going wherever life takes them. They love you. But as regards to committing to you, I don't think they're ready for that. Because they believe they have other options out there still. And tying themselves down to you would take them directly off the table to be accessible to anybody else. Uh, they don't want to offer you love in the sense of a committed relationship. But they are open to having fun with you. They are open to being adventurous with you. But as regards to committing to only you, they don't see themselves doing that. There is a separation that you caused between you and them because you, tell, you told yourself that it would have pushed the person to finally understand that you want a connection with them and cave, but that has not been happening. But there is still some unfinished business between you and this person. So understand that this person may be coming back around to you, still not wanting to commit or to be in a committed relationship. But there is issues that you both have to work out with each other before a cycle can close off or you want to begin. There is probably something you need to say to this individual or something this individual needs to say to you. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. But this person is all about their ego. It's all about being connected to several different people. They are not the commitment type. They are not the ones that would want to buckle themselves down and be in a committed relationship. It's not them. There is nothing you can do about it. It is how this person feels. It is what it is they want for their life. 
and you are both just at two different pages at this point in time. Yeah, because you are ready to settle down. You are ready to be in a committed relationship. You are ready to take things to the other level. They, on the other hand, not so much. They don't want to commit. They don't want to take it to the next level. They don't want to move in with you or to be committed to you. In fact, they like sneaking around, being deceptive, being carefree, living their best life. And they like the idea that you wait on them. That you wait to get a response from them through text message, through phone calls. They, they find this to be uh, appealing. But they don't see you as the person they want to give up their life for. They don't see you as their happily ever after that they are willing to commit to. Um, being in a connection with as a matter of fact, for some of you, this person just stop taking your phone calls, stop taking your emails, stop answering you back, stop FaceTiming you. This person just went cold on you when you decided to tell them that you do not mind moving to them. They just walked away. They just decided it was not what they wanted and they cut communication with you. Because they were not willing at that point in time or at this point in time to actually move in with you and have a committed relationship. They're all about the fun and games, hooking up, or just being friends with benefits, but they aren't in for a committed relationship. And what you want out of this connection is long-term commitment. Is something you can hold on and grab on to, but you're not seeming to get what it is you want from this person. Instead, what you're getting is a lot of distancing, a lot of no communication, a lot of not answering your text message or calls. And all you want is this person to open up to you to tell you the truth, but I don't think they ever will. I don't think they are willing to tell you that they are... Ooh, they want to be single and independent and be by themselves. Wow, okay. So what is happening here is that they don't want things to end with you, but they don't want to commit to you. A cycle is coming back around. Things will work out in your favor. What you need to know, you will find out. But communication with this person is still at a no-no. This person doesn't want to communicate with you because they are doing some self-reflection and trying to figure out if this is something that they truly want because they are not sure what it is they want. So it's best that they move on. At least that is the way they feel. Okay? So... That is it in a nutshell. This person will come back around to you. But I don't think you'll ever really get the clarity that you want from them. Because they are afraid to tell you that they do not want to commit to you. Because then you will not be investing your time or your love into them. And I think they like that aspect of it. It's just the moving in and committing part they aren't up for. They're not ready for. So they prefer to move on. But they will come back around. They will definitely come back around to you. Yeah. Yeah, you'll finally see the truth. You will finally figure it out or they will actually communicate it to you. But the reason for their silence is that they are trying to figure out if you are worth giving up their freedom for. Things will be illuminated. Happiness will come into you. The relationship will blossom eventually. But this time of 
it's not an ending it's more of a separation and it is time that you should take to grow as an individual because this person is realizing that you do hold the keys to their hearts and they are going to eventually take that chance on a relationship with you but at this point in time they are not ready to do the commitment thing but they are thinking about it and eventually it will work out and they will take this risk with you all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one